All right, you guys, another video, man. So it turns out I may have a bad piston ring, man. Uh, decided to pull out the motor. Didn't take too long, maybe an hour, hour and a half at the most pulling it out. Uh, now I gotta disassemble all this, take all that cover off, take off the head. Um, now I'm kinda thinking if I should even resurface the head, deck the block, cause I mean, I don't have a head gasket problem, you know? So I've got a, for sure, new rings. Hopefully it's just a hone. Hopefully they don't have to bore. If they bore, I'm gonna have to get some new pistons. Um, so that's the deal with that. And then, I came out pretty easily. So, I guess it's a good thing I took it out because when I took it out, I didn't realize I didn't put a screw on the other side. So the engine was in the car, setting. Thank God I wasn't driving it. Because if I was, that would have came out. Uh, gotta clean up the engine bay a little bit. Now I have a chance. I'm gonna get my pressure washer, come out here and uh, pressure wash some of these things right here. Um, let's see. You got all my other wirings. Oh, I've never mentioned. This is my 240Z73. Uh, this one right here, hopefully, is getting a 2JZ once everything is all said and done with all the L2080Ts or all the wirings and stuff. So, there you have it, man. I'll be updating you guys on the uh, engine uh, rebuild slash overhaul. I don't know if I'm going to do a complete rebuild or maybe just kind of take care of the piston rings. But for sure those right there has to be switched out i'm gonna be ordering some new ones 15 20 bucks uh that's pretty much it gotta clean up this engine bay. and hopefully uh you guys follow me on this build man all right peace out